Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with GoodyReader.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks on your Amazon Kindle Fire. This is the latest and greatest from Amazon. A lot of people always send us emails, ask us questions on how they transfer newspapers, magazines, and ebooks to their device. So, the purpose of today's tutorial is to walk you through step by step on how you do this. We will be showing you Caliber and Windows Explorer. Unfortunately, the Amazon Kindle Fire is not recognized by Adobe Digital Editions yet. So unfortunately, we're going to bid goodbye. Here's the skinny on Caliber. It's a free open source program. Uh, the essence of it is to effectively manage your device a lot more. You have the freedom to be able to convert ebook formats from one format to another. If you download ebooks from the internet that don't have cover art, you can add that in. And it gives you a lot of more versatility than just simply copying and pasting books via Windows Explorer. So, Calibre is a free download, and with the latest patch that was just issued today, it gives you the ability to recognize both the Amazon Kindle Fire and the Nook tablet. So, the first thing that we want to do is click on the tab here that says Add Books and add books from a single directory. We're then going to go to our desktop where we have a few books here and these are in a Mobi format. So what we're going to do is a book here, A Night to Remember by Tessa Dare. And we're just going to open that up to our stage. Sometimes it uh, takes a few moments for books to be imported. So you can see on the right hand side the cover art, the author, the format. And what we're going to do is right click so it says edit metadata and we're going to edit metadata individually. Now some people don't want to have say the series name or you might want to edit the way that the author sort is so maybe the first name is first instead of the last name first I'm gonna show you how to do it basically you just want to highlight the word here say spindle cove and I'm gonna add it to the series because in essence that's the series name it really makes the title a little bit more cleaned up and I'm going to press this little arrow here next to a night to surrender and that's going to change the text here there we go now you notice when you look here there's nothing in the comment so there's no synapse of the book there's no rating no tags we don't really know too much about it and let's pretend this cover art doesn't exist so what we want to do is click on download metadata and Calibre will actually talk to both Google and Amazon and fetch the book details so cover art publisher and everything so we have a copy here we're gonna press next so if the book didn't have cover art this is how we would add it we click OK. Now you see a rating has appeared as well as tags, ISBN numbers, and comments. Now this will allow uh, you to be able to have uh, better looking books on your unit. A common mistake for most people when they load ebooks on their device is they might just download them from uh, random sites on the internet and the book will not have cover art so when you're looking at your library shelf a number of books won't have cover art so what I just showed you is the best way to add cover art as well as change the title and author name often when you download uh, books from websites or uh, services like rapid share and things like that not that we endorse it but we know that people do and so a lot of the times the title may be the author's name and in the author's name may be the title so Caliber gives you versatility to be able to change all that. So we're going to click OK and that's going to be able to save all the work that we did. Now one way that we can copy a book to our device is by right clicking and clicking on send to device. Now we can click on send to main memory and you notice in the bottom uh, right hand corner it says jobs. What that has done is copy the book to our device so when we click on device which is our Kindle Fire here's the book here, A Night to Surrender. Now alternatively 
you could use the send a device and the benefits of doing it that way is if you've made any edits on the book the edits have carried over to your device but let's pretend that you have a book um, and you know that the cover art you know that the book is formatted properly so we're gonna click on add books add books from a single directory and we're gonna click on the book here Bill Allen how to slay a dragon we're gonna double click on that and you see again in the bottom right hand corner it says jobs it's processing now this book has been uh, copied over and here it is here and you notice that book doesn't have cover art and it now that the book is on the device in our library it'll just show folder art instead of cover art so that's the advantage of being able to change things in your library and instead of just importing to your device right away you can right click again send to device now one other thing I kind of want to show you is in a lot of uh, cases people will download books from the internet that are not in Amazon format. Amazon has uh, a proprietary format uh, and the most common format found on the internet that adheres to Amazon standards is MOBI or M-O-B-I. Now on the internet the most common format of books is EPUB. Now what happens if you download an EPUB book and you want to load it onto your Amazon uh, Kindle but the Kindle doesn't read EPUB? Well what do you do? Well what we're going to do is on our library we're going to click add books to a single directory and what I'm going to do is uh, click on a book here Kathy Reichs uh, the book is called Seizure and so I'm going to double click on that now you can see that this is an EPUB book what we want to do is convert that to a Kindle friendly format so now that it's on my stage here I'm going to right click and instead of clicking on the two options that we did the first time, I'm going to click on convert books. And I'm going to convert books individually because I only have one book in my library. Although you can import more books and do a bulk convert. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to do it individually. So I'm going to click on this. Now, you see a lot of options here. Don't get um, boggled down and intimidated by all of these different options here. For the most part, you won't have to touch any of this. But the one thing that we want to be concerned about is on the left-hand side, it says Import Format EPUB. And on the right-hand side, it'll say Output, Output Format EPUB. Now what we want to do is change our Output Format from EPUB and click on it. And you see a number of options here because we're copying it to our Amazon Kindle Fire, we want to select Mobi. What it's going to do is convert the EPUB format to a Mobi format. So we're going to click OK. And again, bottom right hand corner, you see Jobs, and it's going to process. Normally, it takes the longest in Calibre to convert formats from one format to another because it's pretty well going by it page by page, taking the cover art, and uh, doing a lot of behind the scenes things. So uh, sometimes it'll take as little as 10 seconds, and in some cases it'll take between 2 and 3 minutes. So don't be afraid and don't uh, mess anything up on your computer as it's converting. More or less just let it do its job. If it takes 10 minutes or more, normally there's a problem, and you could always click on jobs and it'll kind of uh, give you a status update on what it's doing. I've clicked on select job details and you can really see that it's doing a lot of work here. So don't be afraid of any of this stuff. It's, it's more or less strictly advanced. If you want to learn more about the Kindle Fire, we have about eight or nine videos of it on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash goodie reader. Uh, we've done uh, things uh, such as comparisons between the Nook tablet here and the Amazon Kindle Fire. And we have all sorts of videos, all sorts of pictures that show you the differences between uh, the app stores, the book stores, uh, what they look like uh, side by side. 
so you can get a sense on uh, the distinctions between the two, how the hardware differs. Um, this video is actually 38 minutes, so it's very, very, uh, it's very concise. So again, it is taking a while, so you have to, you know, bear with us. It's unfortunate that Adobe Digital Editions is actually not compatible with uh, the Amazon Kindle. Uh, and it makes it a little bit harder to, uh, of course, uh, do the whole library uh, borrowing system because it is not compatible. So uh, what you would have to do is download uh, the OverDrive Android app. And uh, it is available, I believe, through the Amazon App Store. If not, we're going to make a definitive Kindle Fire post in a matter of days. What it's going to do is it's going to give you all of the, the direct Android uh, files that you need in order to transfer them to your device and then load in apps. It's called side loading and in essence that's what we're doing with the books. We're side loading our own books onto the Amazon Kindle Fire. And so stay tuned to our blog uh, for more updates on that. Uh, this is taking a while, so I'm going to move on. But in essence, once it's converted to a Mobi style format, we would simply just send to device, send to main memory, and the book would then be on our Amazon Kindle Fire. The most common method of people uh, copying books to their devices is by Windows Explorer. And you can see a lot of different directories here, video, video, pulse, music. Of course, I can click on music, and if I wanted to, I could just load or copy-paste uh, MP3s from my computer onto my Kindle, and I'll be able to play them with the media player. The same is with pictures, too. If you have uh, pictures on your uh, desktop or in your pictures directory here, you can simply just find them and then copy-paste them into your pictures directory. Uh, JPEG is the best format. Uh, what we're concerned about is books. What I would probably recommend is to put them in the documents folder. This is where everybody seems to, uh, all the books that we've copied over so far uh, seem to be here. Uh, so uh, what we want to do is go to our desktop and we have the book here, Seizure by Kathy Reeks. We're going to click again on our Kindle, go to our documents folder and simply copy and paste it. All these books are now in our Kindle Fire, so they will appear on your library or in your documents folder, and you can open them up and begin reading right away. If you have any questions on anything that we've done today, uh, please comment either on our YouTube video or if you're reading this on our blog, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, you don't have to register. It's basically one-click Facebook or Twitter integration for our blog, so we try to make things easy for people to interact with us, and thanks for watching on a video on how to load ebooks on your Amazon Kindle Fire. For goodyreader.com, my name is Marcus, and everybody take care.